Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I'm back with another video. Today is Friday, February 25th, and it's currently 5.53 p.m. I know, late video tonight. I had just finished doing a changing video. Not changing, what am I talking about? I just finished doing a night routine video with Chandler, which will be out on Sunday. But you guys are not going to be seeing this video for about a month or two. So, yeah, but I did a changing video. Oh my gosh, why do I keep saying a changing video? Probably because that's all I keep doing are changing videos. I did a night routine video with Chandler, and then um, I'm going to give him a bath and get him changed into a sleeper, and then put him away until he gets shipped off to his artist to get painted. And um, I just wanted to record the process. And uh, I actually finished Chandler's night routine. I did it early, honestly. I didn't do it realistic. Um, the only time I do it realistic is when I talk through it. But since it's just the, like, I'm just going to do the music, no voiceovers or anything. Um, I did it early around like three or four because I just wanted to get it out the way. Plus, so the lighting won't be too bad, even though it looks probably horrendous. But that's my baby boy. That is the Nathan Sculpt, um, sculpted by Helen Connors. Or is it Connor? I don't know if it's the S at the end. I can't remember. But Helen Connor, Helen Connors, and poured and molded by Tracy Harrington. He is 20 inches, six pounds, and a limited edition. Now he is so tiny compared to Chandler, and um, which is fine though because Chandler is big. Chandler wears zero to three, three month size, and he's about 19 inches. But this baby is long. I'm glad that this baby is long though because I feel like if, it, if he wasn't as long as he is, like his body is just proportioned so perfectly that I have no choice but to love him. Because you guys know I don't bond too well with small babies. Now I am so happy for this baby and I cannot wait till this baby get painted because I know his artist is going to do an amazing job on him. And his sculpt is just amazing. So there are a few things where I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really like that. But the bad does not outweigh the good. The good definitely outweighs the bad. I haven't saw any kits or babies made out of this kit. Now, he doesn't have a spine or anything. And he has like a regular butt. You guys see all his hair? Yeah, he came to me with all that hair on him. Which is okay. He's just going to get a bath. Now, um, he is very, very soft and squishy. I don't think he's poured in a soft blend. So I am going to take this, oops, I ended up pulling the baby instead of this piece of, I don't know, I think it's fabric, it's not a blanket, but um, yeah, like I said, I do like him a lot, or love him, I should say, I'm so excited, when I was opening him, come on, focus, when I was opening him, when I seen how little his feet was, I was like, oh my gosh, he's going to be too tiny, I'm not going to like him. And then I've been obsessed. <laughs> um, and then his, he's so dirty. He's going to get in the bath right after this. Just want to show you guys some more of his details because this is going to be the last video you guys see of him before he get painted. Because I'm not probably going to record me packing him up just because it's literally just going to be him in the box. I don't think, I'll probably send an outfit and then his COA so she could sign it, sign it, but that's it. But his little neck wrinkles up too. And it turned. So. Yeah. Anywho, let's go get him in the bath. Look at his head. He's gonna have rooted hair, guys. So. <laughs> yeah, look at his head. But. I like him a lot. And, uh. He's a hat baby for now since he's bald. But when he gets his hair. Oh, he's gonna look so cute. So let's go ahead and go into the bathroom and wash him up. Get all that hair off of him. You guys will definitely be able to see the hair when we go in the bathroom with the lighting. Okay, so we're in the bathroom now. And he is so, he's like so little. And he's not that heavy. But look at him. That's him. I've been watching videos on him ever since I found out that I was getting him. And there's not on him, but like on, uh... Helen Connor's silicone scope, and there's not many videos out on her scopes. 
uh, except for this one person who has like a ton of videos on her as well. So I was watching like almost all of them and I was so happy that she recorded that because if she didn't, I wouldn't have had a lot of videos, like options to choose from because there were some other people. But um, look how dirty he is. I like that he doesn't have a lot of imperfections because you guys know silicones um, have quite a lot of imperfections because you know they're not perfect but he doesn't have many and when he gets painted you won't really see him okay so i ran some water i'm just going to rinse him off of water no soap no nothing i don't want to interfere interfere with uh when the artist paints him because i've heard uh you know some people say that when um like a blank silicone got sent to one of their customers and they um were like playing with the silicone and doing all types of stuff and then the sil silicone ended up being like getting messed up in the process of that so i don't want to risk anything i want his silicone and everything to still be intact when he goes to his artist all right let's get him in there oh the water is disappearing <laughs> you guys are probably watching it like girl your water is gone there's going to be so much hair in here so much I've never, oops, I've never seen this much hair before on this little comb. Chandler doesn't collect hair that often, um, which I love. So hopefully he doesn't collect hair that often, you know, when he gets painted and then get uh, varnished. But he has so much hair coming to me. Look, you guys see how long he is? Like, Chandler takes up, like, the whole entire sink, but, like, width-wise, and he takes it up lengthwise. Like, he doesn't even fit. <laughs> so he's very long, which I do like and enjoy because if he wasn't long, I probably wouldn't have liked him. That's just, you guys know me. I don't really like small babies. But I did know that he was going to be... On a smaller side, because beforehand I did buy newborn clothing for him. Um, and then also, Zaire can wear that, wear the newborn clothing too. I'm so excited, guys. Like, I've been talking about this baby for so long, and I'm just so happy. And, um, yeah, I'm so happy I can get my full body silicone this baby will be painted in a light african-american skin tone or, or a biracial skin tone whichever one you want to call it and then it's like it just gets right back on him Okay, I hope you guys could see that. And I'm sure, well, I'm positive his artist is going to, you know, give him a bath when she first get him. Give him a bath quite often, actually. That's one thing I do know about silicones is when, you know, when you paint them, you have to give them baths pretty frequently. But I just don't like the hair either, so that's why I got him one, or gave him one. And plus, I just do that with all of my silicones. I give them a bath when they first arrive. And then uh, if they're getting sticky or have a lot of hair, I give them bath a few months after. Because I got Chandler in September and I only gave him a bath once. But yeah, look at him. So we're going to just go ahead and change him. I'm going to change him into a sleeper. 
And oh gosh, I ran into the tripod. Look at him. So we're gonna get him changed and do a sleeper. And yeah, look how little his feet are. <laughs> he's gonna look so cute in the clothes I got him. Oh, they're so cute and he's gonna look so cute in them. But let's get him changed. Okay, so he's all ready and finished from his bath. And I only um, rinsed him off, really. No soap or anything. So again, I don't want to harm his process um, for when he does get painted in the next month or so. And um, yeah, he was going to be going in a sleeper. I actually have the same sleeper, but um, not with me. I have the sleeper in size newborn for Messiah. Which is my, who is my uh, Roborn Charles kit. And it's just a Carter's newborn monster sleeper. It's like a terry cloth material and has monsters all over it and even has monsters on the feet. And we're just going to put that um, on him. I wanted to put an outfit on him, but I was like, no, you cannot play with him. And uh, you can't put no outfit on him. <laughs> so we're going to get him changed. And I think. I want to put this cloth diaper on him, but if it's too big, then I'll just, um, if the cloth diaper is too big, then I'll put on a regular diaper, one of the diapers he came to me with, because, um, all of my diapers are size 1. I do have some newborn diapers, and I have no clue where they are. He's so floppy, which I love it so much. Ooh, this piece, oh yeah that's way too big okay <laughs> that's way too big for you buddy not your size oh but yeah i got the sleeper just gonna grab one of these diapers right here little newborn pampers diapers so cute i got him a whole bunch of clothes and that sleeper was in there there was actually three no there was two other sleepers and one gown that was in there, but I just decided to do that one. Okay, I'm trying to do this where you guys are not going to be able to see it. Okay, how was that? I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Some of you guys are pros at not showing the baby's privates, like your silicone privates. Absolute pros at it. And again, I'm not going to powder him or anything. I'm not going to do anything to him. I'm not going to put no pasties in his mouth. Okay. Sorry, I think I was blocking the ring light. Sorry I'm not talking so much. I don't know what to say because this video is literally going to go in the future. Then when you guys watch it, it will be the past. <laughs> um, I do have this onesie. It is a Gerber newborn size. This is the one Shannon was wearing. He did stretch it out. I have a newborn long sleeve onesie. Um, and I know where it's at, but I don't, and I don't feel like looking for it, and I don't feel like going through all of the baby stuff to look for, because I have so much baby stuff, guys. Oh, look at that. I'm so happy he's able to do this. And I'm not pulling on him, guys. I am just pulling on the onesie while holding his arm and his hand. Every time I watch a YouTube video... That's, uh, they always remind me. Well, I never pulled on, you know, the baby, uh, the baby limbs or anything, but it's still a good reminder. Alright. I just gave him a bath and I gave Chandler a bath and then they have hair on them right again. I don't like that. It's from all the stuff here, from the bobby and from the towel. Okay, how do you guys keep hair from not getting on your babies? Like when artists, is, I should say, like when you guys paint them, like how does hair not stick to them while you're painting them? <laughs> you and your big brother Chandler's onesie. I really hope everything goes smoothly with him getting painted and rooted. He's gonna have uh, curly hair. And uh, 
yeah I hope everything goes smoothly and I hope I like him when he gets painted because I do want to keep him for quite a while because he will be kind of a dream almost so I'm like envisioning him painted and like I am in love but of course that's just me envisioning it and something could go wrong but I'm trying not to think like that and uh, be positive about it I never had a custom silicone before that's exciting like look how big the foot is and his foot is all the way down here so yeah I wish he was just a tad bit bigger because when I saw the 20 inches I was like oh He's, got, he's a good size. And then when I seen the six pounds, I was like, oh, well, maybe not. Because I've been seeing like other babies made by this sculptor and they were like seven pounds. Did I say seven? He's six pounds. But I've seen other babies made by the sculptor and they were seven pounds and they were like 18, 19 inches. So I was like, okay, well, I don't know. I'm gonna pick you up, buddy. It's a lot easier changing him than Chandler, that's for sure, because he's not as big and uh, he's definitely more flexible and floppy. More floppy than Chandler. Chandler's not flexible nor floppy. But yeah, I was comparing the two, trying to see if. Um, whose silicone was like more squishy and soft and I am going to have to say neither they're both the same to me it feels like I don't know maybe I have to wait until he gets painted or something but um this open hand is going to give me trouble I already know it is but I have to do I'm going to have to use scratch mittens for this hand Sorry guys, um, I was comparing Chandler and him and I was trying to figure out who was squishier and they're both as squishy. Uh, Chandler's just a little bit more firm, like probably like that much more, more firm than him, which is not a lot at all. Look how little he looks in this newborn sleeper. I hope, I hope I bond with him. Yes, the ring light cut off. It's not a Maya Reborns video if the ring light's not cut off. Okay. It's not too big on him though, but I'm just glad I did not get any zero to three month size clothing. So I was like, oh, he could probably fit zero to three. And nope, he's strictly newborn, but I'm okay with that. I am fine with that because I have a lot of newborn clothes for him that I bought. So yeah, that's him and that's me changing him into a sleeper. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do need a name for him. Um, I've been thinking of names for him, but I also have been uh, trying to wait to see, you know, when he actually gets painted to get a name for him. So yeah, that's him. And when he gets uh, painted and rooted, when he comes to me, I am going to be telling you guys the story on how I got him and how everything came to be. Because guys, I'm telling you, this this was not happening at all. Um, not even like a money situation, but just me actually getting this doll and actually me finding somebody to paint silicone. Like, I don't know anyone that's taking custom silicone orders, but then I paid my way. I found somebody. It was just a crazy story and I can't wait to tell you guys about it when he's painted. Alright guys, I am going to let you guys go. Um, I am on Instagram at my underscore reborns if you guys want to give me a follow over there. I am on reborns.com selling babies if you guys want to purchase one or just want to follow me over there. You can do so under Melanated Babies. And I do have a membership if anyone wants to join that. Everything that I said it is linked in the description below. And uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want in the comments, including video requests. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!